Hello everybody! Today's video is gonna be based on Elizabeth Phillips' video about how the Pomodoro technique doesn't work. <laughs> I vehemently disagree, so this is gonna be my response to that. And I'm gonna link it here because she has a really cool channel that you should check out. But check it out after watching my video. Thank you! <laughs> Problems you may have with the Pomodoro technique. It prevents flow for you. I kind of agree with this one because 25 minutes is really not enough for flow, which is why you should adjust it to yourself. I can never do a break for just five minutes. So I always do 75 minutes, 15 minutes, and it's really perfect. It allows for flow and the breaks are also effective. Okay, number two, it makes you hate work. I was so surprised when I heard the Pomodoro technique would make someone hate work. And that's because I don't believe that's possible. If I hate the task, that's because I hate the task. I see the Pomodoro technique as a method to get my mind focused and organize my day. Break time isn't good and focus time isn't good either. They together are a method to keep my mind engaged through the day. And I use the Pomodoro method for creative tasks, tasks that I love, tasks that I have to do, tasks that I want to do, because that's exactly it. The Pomodoro method is not the task. The Pomodoro method is just a method. The kind of mindset change that I think would be good is remind yourself why you want to focus. Why do you love the benefits of doing your task? Why are you doing your task? And then the Pomodoro technique in helping you to fulfill this task, it becomes also a good thing in your mind. I hope. Let's go to number three. It follows from number two. You're using the break time as a reward. It's part of the mindset. There is no dichotomy between focus time and break time. Your goal is to finish this task. Even if you are suffering while you're doing the task, like if you don't like to study or something, your goal is still to finish the task. Why would the break time, the time that you don't get to work for your goals, for your task, for your benefits, why would that time be a reward if you're not hating your task? Seriously. If you are in this mindset, try to remind yourself that the break time isn't good or bad. It's just a part of the whole of the method that you're using in order to fulfill your task and get your benefits that you want from having focused time and a focused day. After you work on mindset number two, the mindset number three is going to come mostly naturally unless number four, you are not taking care of yourself first. I was also very surprised when Elizabeth mentioned that some people wait until the break to eat something. Isn't your goal to be focused? Isn't your goal to finish your task efficiently? Yes, it is. Okay, so that means that you are trying to make sure that you have everything that you need to really focus, really do your things. If you're hungry, you're not going to be able to focus. You have to take care of this stuff first. Anything that's bothering you, you have to stop and you need to fix it. That's what it truly means to be using the Pomodoro method. You are trying to focus. If you're hungry, go eat. If you're cold, get a jacket. If you ever put a hold on your needs because you were on a focus time, you may not be really using the Pomodoro method. Okay, next. You find yourself obsessing with the timer. Is it time already? Like, how many minutes are left? Whatever, whatever, whatever. Guess what? It's a mindset issue. A lot of people also mention this issue about meditating. They set the timer and then they can focus on meditating. But that's not the timer's fault. That's not meditation's fault. It's just that our mind wants to wander. And in some cases, it wanders to the timer. It's very natural for this to happen. But the best thing is not to avoid using a timer. It would be best to train our minds to be more focused, to be more intentional. And if you want to use the Pomodoro method to do that, my suggestion, because I sometimes struggled with this at first as well. What I used was every time I wondered about the time, I just remind myself, no, the bell is gonna ring when the time is over. Until then, I'm just gonna focus. 
And this actually helped me understand the Pomodoro method. My job is to just focus. If there's something external that pops up, I just say like, no, that's not the time for it. I will do it later. I will check the timer later. And it is so powerful. It's such a shame if you quit the Pomodoro method just because of that. If this is what was keeping you from the Pomodoro method, please try again. Just maybe you'll make it and just maybe these benefits will be unlocked for you. Okay, last one. This is actually my own. You forget what you are gonna do. This happened to me many times. <laughs> I'd go for my break and then come back and I'd completely lost my train of thought. <laughs> but it was fairly easy to overcome this one. If I have to leave something in the middle, I just write out all the foreseeable steps that I'll have to take. You don't have to write a lot of detail in that list. Your mind is going to be able to remember. After all, it's only 15 minutes of break and you're back on. Okay. Do you still think that the Pomodoro method can't work for you? If so, please comment down below. I would love to hear about your experiences and see you soon.